Iran sent a barrage of more than 200 drones and missiles towards Israel in a bold retaliatory strike that has the potential to make the situation in the Middle East spiral out of control. The U.S. helped Israel intercept most of the weapons, but an Israeli defense spokesman confirmed there was minor damage to a military base. This wasn't exactly a surprise attack. Iran vowed to respond to an embassy strike in Syria they blamed on Israel. That strike killed a top Iranian commander. There were warnings for days that an attack was imminent, and the U.S. had already been coordinating with Israeli allies on what an attack might look like and how to respond. Iran attacking Israel directly from inside its own borders is unprecedented. Israel had been engaged with Iranian-backed proxy groups until now. It is a red line that we have not seen in the Middle East between Iran and Israel, actually striking or attempting to strike the other from their, their own territory, onto the territory of the other. We have not seen that before. The fear now is just how much this could escalate war in the Middle East. Israel had promised to strike back against Iran if there were any attacks launched. Iran has also warned U.S. forces in the region could be at risk for aiding Israel. President Joe Biden returned from Delaware to the White House Saturday afternoon to meet with national security advisors and Israel convened its war cabinet when the wave of drones and missiles were launched. The White House released this statement saying his team is in constant communication with Israeli officials as well as other partners and allies. President Biden has been clear our support for Israel's security is ironclad. The United States will stand with the people of Israel and support their defense against these threats from Iran. Donald Trump mentioned the attack and support for Israel at his Pennsylvania rally Saturday, before basically blaming it on President Biden, saying Israel is under attack because America is showing great weakness. Reporting in Washington, I'm Matt Gelka.